Hey guys, uh, welcome back. This is part two of my bookshelf tour. Um, so let's keep going. So this is the fourth shelf. Um, and I have Running Out of Time, um, Among the Hidden, Among the Imposters, Among the Betrayed, Among the Barons, Among the Brave, Among the Enemy, and Among the Free, all by uh, Margaret Peterson Haddix. Um, then I have The Revenge of the Witch, Curse of the Bane, and Night of the Soul Stealer by Joseph Delaney. I've only read the first one. Um, then I have another one of my favorite juvenile fiction series, which is the Keys to the Kingdom series by Garth Nix. So there's Mr. Monday, Grim Tuesday, Drowned Wednesday, and Sir Thursday. Uh, there's seven in total, but I only have the first four. Then I have Maybird and the Ever After, Holes, The Wind in the Willows, The Golden Compass, The Subtle Knife, and The Amber Spyglass. Um, then I have my favorite ghost stories from when I was younger, uh, Time for Andrew, and Wait Till Helen Comes. I love ghosts so much, and this is my favorite author for, uh, like, children's ghost stories. And I have Summer, Summer of the Monkeys by Wilson Rawls, and this book made me cry when I was little. I was super sensitive, especially when it came to stories about animals, and everything made me cry, whether it was a happy ending or a sad ending. Um, then I have Flowers in the Attic series. I don't really know what the series is called, but by V.C. Andrews. I have not read it, but my aunt and my mom both really recommend it, so... And I found these all at a yard sale for, like, a dime each. So, I said, what the hell. Uh, then I have a couple Animorphs books from when I was really little. And then I have a bunch of Goosebumps. Uh, Captain Underpants. Got a couple of those. Junie B. Jones. I just, I can't part with these books. Even though I don't read them and they're cheesy as hell, I love them. Then I have the whole series of unfortunate events. And then, right here, we have my leather-bound classics. So I have the Chronicles of Narnia, um, Alice's Adventure in Wonderland and Other Stories by Lewis Carroll, Douglas Adams' The Ultimate Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I cannot wait to go on with the series. I've read the first one and it's awesome. It's hilarious. Look at that cover. It's so cool. I love these leatherbound books so much. Then I have The Divine Comedy by Dante. And then I have The Complete Tales and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe. Um, I've only got those five but there's a whole bunch more that I want. So then back here I have I have Dracula, and I have like a really big, heavy edition, and it's kind of got illustrations by Edward Gorey all throughout it, um, so that's cool. So, <clears throat> oh, and then right here I have, there's my reading gnome before he landed, I have my library books I have out at the moment, uh, here's a manga, Aeon. This was actually really good. I read it in one sitting. Um, yeah. Then I have uh, The Lux by Anna Godberson. The Alchemy of Stone by uh, Ekaterina Zadia or something. I don't know. This cover is so cool. I really love it. Like, she has a corset on and like inside the corset it's like a box and you can see her heart there. Or maybe it's a lung. No, that's a heart. And then she's got this weird helmet thing on. And I don't know. It says at the top, it says, A novel of automated anarchy and clockwork lust. So this sounds amazing. Then I have Evernight by Claudia Gray. Um, I could not tell from like videos and 
pictures online of the cover of this book, but the word Evernight is so cool. Like, there's like a little picture of a cemetery and just all sorts of cool designs. And it is amazing the way they wrote Evernight. And then there's like a little star and moon on the T and it's so cool. I never knew that. Um, then I have 13th Reality by James Dashner. Um, so yeah. So on to the books on my desk. I have a little like shrine I guess you could say to the circus and clowns and stuff. I really really love it. Um, it's right here. These aren't books but I have a couple of Cirque du Soleil videos. I love the Cirque du Soleil. It's a very beautiful show. I really want to go and see a live show one day. I think I want to go to Las Vegas and see all the shows down there because every hotel has its own show. Um, then I have Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen. And then here is my Cirque du Freak series. And I know that this series really isn't a circus book. They aren't circus books, but they... The Cirque du Freak is a big part of it, especially in the first couple books, so, you know, they can go up here, even though they're mainly about vampires. Then I have Freaks by Annette Curtis Class, and this book is awesome, awesome, awesome. I definitely recommend this book. Um, so, let's move on. Let's go to my last bookshelf. I just have a little fountain and a little piggy bank, um, half of a rabbit, zombies, and Rob Zombie lunchbox. So, down here I have my mangas. I only have a couple, but I really, really want to get some more. So I have Dead Men Wonderland, Rosario Vampire, and Orn High School Host Club. Then I have regular comic. I have Lenore. The cute little dead girl. This is the funniest comic ever. I love it. Um, then I have a Emily the Strange one. It's just a random little comic. Then I have my Pikachu keychain, but he goes right there. And I have a couple Pokemon cards because I used to love Pokemon. Uh, I'm sorry to say, but I don't know his name. <laughs> but he's another Pokemon. Um, then I have some CDs and more CDs, and then I have Melancholy Death of Oyster Boy and Other Stories by Tim Burton. And I have Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Uh, and I have a Gothic Beauty magazine right there. Then I have The Velvet Teen Rabbit, Spooky Stories, and there is my book of Edward Gorey's stuff. Um, if you don't know who Edward Gorey is, look him up. His art is awesome. Then down here, I have the Runes workbook, Moon Magic, Gothcraft, Nocturnal Witchcraft, The World's Most Haunted Places, the Element Encyclopedia of Magical Creatures, uh, the Encyclopedia of Final Exits, and this thing is awesome. It's an encyclopedia of ways to die. How much cooler can you get? And it's got pictures and just random crap, and it's awesome. I find it so amusing. I have a morbid sense of humor. Uh, here's the Mythical Creatures Bible and the Zen of Zombie. Now, before you all start thinking that I'm, like, a devil worshiper or anything, I am not. I just like reading about stuff like this. It just is very intriguing to me. I don't sacrifice animals or anything. Um, I don't even believe in the devil. Um, I'm not an evil person or anything, and so I don't want to scare any of you with some of these books that I have. Um... I'm a very good moral person. <laughs> um, so, and then right here I have six by Seuss. Um, they're six books by Dr. Seuss, obviously. So there's in here, uh, and to think that I saw it on Mulberry Street, 500 hats of Bar 
of Bartholomew Cubbins, Horton Hatches the Egg, Yertle the Turtle, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, and The Lorax. And my absolute favorite books by Dr. Seuss are Yertle the Turtle and The Lorax. I love them so much. I can't get over them. Um, then I have a coloring book, and then I have a sticker, a Winnie the Pooh sticker book, actually. Then I have H.R.G. Jer. Um, I would show you this one, but his art is actually kind of phallical, and some of you may get grossed out by it. But if any of you have seen Alien or Species, um, H.R.G. Jer is the guy who did the art, the art stuff for those movies. Um, then I have Encyclopedia of Cats, and no, I'm not a huge cat person, but my mom got this for me as a joke for Christmas, and I still have it. Um, then I have the Ultimate Encyclopedia of Mythology and Science uh, science Fiction, the Illustrated Encyclopedia. And actually, the thing that sucks about this, because my favorite science fiction thing ever is Stargate, and this is, like, super old encyclopedia and it ends like right before Stargate actually begins so it's like all the way up to 1994 or something like that it's kind of hilarious so it, that kind of sucks my absolute favorite science fiction thing isn't even in there um and down here I have a plastic pumpkin that I have and I have a box of crayons and another Winnie the Pooh sticker thing. I love Winnie the Pooh, obviously. Um, then I have, like, some really, really old books. Uh, this one actually is a history book. But I just think it looks so cool. I love all the decrepit looking type of it. And I love the smell of old books. And this is totally falling apart. And it's awesome. I love it. I didn't get it because it's a history book. I got it because it's just uh, it's just awesome. And then with old books, I also like to make them into boxes. Um, this one isn't finished, um, but I just have to like line the inside and everything and make it look nice. But I haven't yet, so. That is my bookshelf tour. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was... Yeah. I had fun. I like talking about my books. Um, if you saw anything that you really want me to do a review on, just ask. And I will do a review on it as soon as I can. So, hope you enjoyed. Hope you're having an awesome, awesome day. Um, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh.